Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be taking the alphabet soup tag, N is for novella. So, this was created by Sean the Book Maniac, and I was tagged by Charlie Heathcote, I'll link to them both below. Here I have a stack of books, and we have some questions, we have 13 questions, so we'll start with question one. Why not? N is for novella, the last good one you read. So for me, that would be Charles Heathcote, the guy who tagged me. He recently released a novella called Doris Ahoy, it was excellent. Uh, this is both the last novella that I read, and the last good novella that I read. And uh, yeah, it kind of stands alone as well, if, if needs be, so if you haven't started the Doris series, you can pick this one up. But honestly, they're all so good, you might as well begin with our Doris. So yeah. Question number two, N is for neighbour, a work of fiction focused on, or at least largely concerned, with neighbours. So for me, I'm going with The Ghost Next Door by R.L. Stein. this is a Goosebumps book. Basically, this character uh, discovers that the person who moved in next door is a ghost, except obviously it's a Goosebumps book, so there's a big twist at the end. Which I quite liked. I still, even looking back on it now, I think it was quite well done. Question three. N is for name. A writer you'd recommend whose first and or last name starts with N. So I stole from Charlie for this one. Where's it gone? So I went for Neil Gaiman. This is Neverwhere. Yeah. I mean, it starts with and ends in an N. So that's always good. Not my favourite, right? It's not that I don't like Gaiman. It's just I, I find him quite hit and miss. So sometimes I really like his stuff and other times I just really don't. Actually, that was one of the few that was just okay. Question four. N is for nuptials, a work of fiction that didn't suck about a wedding. So I also stole this one from Charlie because I couldn't think of any others. I've gone for A Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin because of the red wedding. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got for you, mate. I, I can't think of any others that involve a wedding even. Actually, maybe I uh, didn't one of the Harry Potter books and Bill got married at the end of those. I hate weddings, though. I really hate weddings. Question number five, N is for not aging well, a book you like less than when you read it. So for this, I'm going for A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I actually didn't like it much when I read it, but I tried to reread it earlier this year and DNF'd it, so that's how much I dislike it. To be fair, well, I even said when I read it, the best thing about this book were Jim Kay's illustrations, and I tried to reread it via audio, via audio, and it was just like, I didn't have the illustrations, and instead I had a very annoying almost robotic sounding American man reading it out and I'm just like oh it's even worse but yeah I didn't like this story in general I'm one of the few that did not like it and they're too manipulative for me man it just you're reading it and you're like well I can see what the author is trying to make me feel so now I'm not gonna feel it question six is n is for n a book title with lots of n's did I even go oh I've gone for the golden one reckoning by Hans M Hershey this is the third book in a trillogy the golden one trilogy a YA fantasy trilogy and we'll come back to this one in a minute question at number seven n is for not sure a book you keep changing your mind about whether you want to read or not so for me I've got the lie tree by Francis Hardinge it's not that I've been changing my mind about it lots I've actually only had it for like a week and I picked it up on a whim at a charity shop I'm kind of looking forward to get to it soon because it's got big old print, so I think I can whiz through it. But um, basically, every time I'm about to pick this up, another book arrives in the post, and so then I don't. But I probably will like read this fairly soon, I reckon. Question number eight. N is for nitpick, some small literary writing or book-related thing that drives you around the bend. So for me, this is like formatting issues. Like if a book isn't justified or if there's weird spacing... Or like sometimes paragraphs start with an indent and sometimes they don't. All that kind of stuff. It just, it honestly drives me around the bend. Consistency. As long as you've got consistency, it doesn't matter as much. But also there is like a consistent set of rules that most people will expect you to follow as a publisher, you know? Question number nine. N is for next to nothing. A book you read as an adult you can barely remember a blessed thing about. This is one I read like two weeks ago. <laughs> Hardboiled Wonderland and the End of the World by Haruki Murakami. I remember how it made me feel. I remember that it reminded me of Stephen King's Dark Tower books. I remember that it was nuts, but I can't remember what, what actually happened. Question number 10. N is for New Zealand, a book or writer you'd like to read from there. Find out about one if need be. It'll be fun. So instinctively, I think of New Zealand and I think of Roya Eve Reads, who I don't think makes videos anymore, which is a shame. But I'm pretty sure she was writing a book as well, so that would be my actual answer. But I also googled it and I've got Ngayo Marsh, and I don't know if I've even pronounced that correctly. But she was like a classic crime writer, kind of around about the time of Agatha Christie, really. I know my uncle was a big fan of hers, but uh, yeah, never read any of her stuff. Question number 11. N is for nodding off, a mind-numbingly boring book. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. This book was terrible. It's also one of the most disliked videos I've got is my review of it because I said I thought it was terrible and said why I thought it was terrible. And then people are still in the comments being like, oh, well, you just read it wrong. And it's like, 
Well, no, this is just my interpretation of it. I'm sure everybody reads it differently, but I've explained why I didn't like it. It's not like I've just gone, this is a bad book. I've gone, this is a bad book. Because of, like, for example, the little kid breaking into this girl's house he fancies, interrupting her, having sex with her fiancé, and then getting all butthurt about it. And then his dad saying to him, you know what you should do? You should make her dump that fiancé and go out with you. And this girl was, like, 15, 16, and this kid was, like, 12, 13, and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Oh! Question number 12, N is for next, the next book you're going to read. So I mentioned this previously, I'm going to read uh, The Golden One Reckoning. Basically this is the third in this trilogy, and it's just come out and Hans offered to send me the third book. And I was like, well I'd rather, can you just send me the first book? And he ended up sending me all three, so I've blitzed through the first two recently. And I'm going to read this next. And then after that I probably will finally do The Lie Tree. Question number 13, N is for now it's your turn, a tag a bevy of booktubers. Well as we've used the word bevy, which means beer in British and Australian slang, we're going to go for Todd the Librarian, Madman Reads and Rocks, Pints and Paperbacks. Uh, we'll go Plots and Points as well, James, he likes, a good, he likes a good bevy or two. And then I'm going to look at my recent comments and see who's in here. Fixie Dust, Books with Katie, Alex Black, Stacey Stories, and that... Oh, go on then. And Written and Blurred, Graham Quigley, and Emma Rosen books. That'll do. All right, so there we go. This was the Alphabet Soup Tag Ennis for Novella. Big shout out to Charlie for tagging me. Shout out to Sean the Book Maniac for creating this. And various other Alphabet Soup Tags as well. And just all round, nice guy, great channel. Check them both out. They're both just, actually, they're both quite funny, which is weird. They've both got that, that going in common. But yeah, check out their channels linked below, as well as their videos of this. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Hit that like button. I said that, didn't I? And hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye.